another edition of Talk to Talk, Real Brand Event Starts. I'm your host, Alex Arabia, along with my co-host. Alex Medina. We're on season four, and this is the last episode, season 12. Last one. Of season four. So, uh, it's been a great season. Four seasons. Yep. And we have another amazing guest to uh, wrap up uh, season four, all the way from Star County. Yes. From Rio Grande City, Joelle Olivares. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. And today we'll learn more about your career and background and future goals to inspire our viewers. Yeah. That's the main goal of the show. Uh, so, uh, first of all, tell us a little bit more about you and, and your background. Well, I'm from Star County, born and raised. Um, I go to school there while well, I come back and forth. I have a five-year-old son. Um, I'm recently, I got engaged last year. I'm getting married in November. Sorry guys, she's taking <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to your husband. Yeah. <laughs> hi. Um, so right now I'm just like honestly focusing on like the gym, my career, like towards bodybuilding and going to school. Hopefully I get a subject into the LBM program. Oh, okay. And you're going to South Texas College. Yes. The best college ever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Professor from <laughs> That's awesome. amazing that you're combining college, personal life, the bodybuilding. So you must be very, very busy. I am. Well, actually, <laughs> it's, it's, how can I say it? Like, my life has been like a roller coaster. It's not easy. Um, to get to where I'm at right now, it took a lot. Can, can you elaborate a little bit on why it's going to work? And tell us what you do. Like... Yeah, tell us about this roller coaster. Okay, yeah. well, I became pregnant when I was 20. Had my son when I was 21. Um, not a year, I was like almost going to turn 21. Um, I'm a single parent. Um, his dad didn't want to help me. So I was going to school, I was accepted into the RM program in STC also and um, I had to quit because my dad got diagnosed with cancer so I'm a daddy's girl so um, family first always mm -hmm. so I wasn't doing too well I didn't want to like quit so I still kept going obviously I didn't do, I failed completely and since I wasn't getting help from his dad, my son's dad I decided to get a job I worked as a detention officer for three years. Not a lot of people think wow. I do. I worked there, but I did. I recently quit last December to go back to school because I honestly thought I was working there. I enjoyed it because I was working with both men and women, like the inmates. So I'm like, you know what? Like this is not for me. Like I don't want to do this. I actually want to go back into nursing school. So I decided to quit my job, go back to school, and. I got inspired and I started bodybuilding, which is my first year competing. I won one show and I've competed in four. Recently trained to compete in the field heat. What, what uh, made you start with this inspiration to do this? Honestly, my dad. Ever since I was little, my dad would always be like, oh, look at my muscles. I would turn them to flex. And obviously, <laughs> like, I became fascinated with muscles. So ever since I was little, I think I've like enjoyed the aspect of women and men having muscle. And a lot of people think, a lot of females think that just because you work out, you're gonna look like a guy, like bigger shoulders or whatever. But you don't. You don't. You know, it's you very that. different. It's very different. Wow, and so you just recently competed at the Iron House Classic. Yes. Same show. The same the show. show. I did. <laughs> Wow. But I was already right so I didn't get to meet anybody. <laughs> it's okay. It was, that, that's many people. The, the bikini, uh, there were so many competitors. Yes. I mean, when I walked backstage after the bodybuilding, the guys were done, like it was just packed. Like so many females. Like how many I, I placed fifth. So yeah. I'm, yes, I think so it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. so, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And your first time in this type of yeah. competition. So that's good. Wow, that's awesome. So what's your next move after this? I'm actually hoping I get to accept into the OBM program, but I'm training to compete in the field heat. That's my main goal to like really And you're in what city? Houston. Houston. What month of the year? April. Of next year, 2020. Wow, and that's a very big event. And that's even big because like about three, four years ago I was a sponsor there. And then now and it was huge then. And I think yeah. it was like one of his first shows. And now it's like Huge! You're combining the pros now with the amateurs, and wow, 
and, and your soon to be husband, does, does he support you uh, in these kind of things? Yes, I do get a lot of support from him. Does he lift weights? Yes. Oh, yeah. okay, very good. <laughs> yes, he does. But, but he doesn't compete. No, he oh. doesn't. He's like my main supporter here in my son. Um, but I did get like a really backlash like with the bikinis and stuff like that. So I, was, I got a lot of like negative comments. So I deactivated my social media for a while. The haters. Yeah. yeah. They're just jealous, that's yeah. what it is. But then I came back into social media and um, right now I'm good. I think I'm like at a better mindset, which is like people are always gonna like have something negative to say. Even in the gym, I've heard it all. Like I didn't deserve first place or whatever. And usually when people succeed, there's always gonna be a few yes. haters, jealous people, envy and so on. But a lot of other people who admire you and look yes, up to you. But also, so I guess the focus uh, is to focus on that, right? On the yes. positive and the people who look up to you and yeah. admire you. I actually never thought I would inspire anybody. Like, honestly, like, I, I never considered myself like, oh, like, I'm, I'm famous or whatever. Because I'm not, I'm very, like, different. I'm very humble. Like, if you talk to me, I'll talk to you, like, normally. And I guess people... I guess because I have a very serious face when I'm working out, think I'm very mean, mm -hmm. but I'm not. I'm actually like, I'm different, I'm very down to earth. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people in the industry, like in, in lifting, think that a lot of people are stuck up, and it's very different once you get to know. Yeah, and especially like when I get into the gym, like I'm there for business. Like, yeah. I'm, I want to get in, get like, out. You know, I'm serious because I'm there to train. Like, yeah. that's my happy hour. I don't want no one bothering me. Yeah. You know, and it's not that we're we're rude, it's just like you're focused. Yeah. You're in the zone. Yeah. Especially yeah. with the pre-workout, oh my god, I'm like caffeine addict to the max. Yeah. I have to take like two or three scoops of different pre-workouts for me to hit. Oh my god. And now since you work out and prepare, uh, I'm sure you also have to uh, make sure to eat healthy, right? Yeah. How hard is that here in the valley? Oh <laughs> my god, it's extremely it's hard. hard. It's like I, since I was prepping the whole year, I recently started my off season. My first three weeks were the hardest. Like, oh my god, like my family is Mexican, so they yeah. are all the people, the tamales, and everything. I'm like, oh my god. The banditsu? Yeah. And then the holidays coming out. Oh my god. I was like, hopefully, off season, I'll be like in November because I don't think we need to be up. You're ready? Yes. So I'm like super excited. Like, right now I'm in off season, it's really hard for me to gain weight. But Hopefully, I gain a little bit of muscle from here till mm -hmm. April, and then I hopefully I, I face there. And so, what's your weakness as far as food? Like, what's something you have to have? Hot Did Cheetos you? and fries. Hot <laughs> Cheetos and like all French fries? Yes, French fries. <laughs> Mine's like pan dulce. It's the sweet, so like. which one? Uh, the the oh my god, yes. You know what I do so I don't have so many carbs? I got the inside. But it's still bread though. I know, I get the bread up it's, and I eat like the crunch, mostly the yeah. crunch of bread. I mean, <laughs> it helps my conscience out, you know? But it's because like a lot of people don't know that like bread and like dairy makes you blow. Mm -hmm. Or like a lot of people say, oh, I've been working out like and I never lose weight and it's like, do you drink on the weekend? Yeah, it's like, oh, it's like calories. Yeah. <laughs> So are you healthy in that aspect as well, like no drinking, no smoking? Yeah, I don't drink, I don't smoke. Give me five days. Yeah. You don't I don't drink. Okay. I, mean, I, don't do drink. I don't smoke. <laughs> I do drink occasionally. It's not something I do often. It's just everything. <laughs> but it's hard when you're on trip, you can't even go out with your friends. Nothing. Like, everything. You can't go to the parties. Like, well, I didn't, I mean, I went to one party, it was the worst thing ever because my friends is just like... The temptations are everywhere to yeah. drink or eat or... You, you shouldn't go out, like... It requires so much discipline, right? Yes, oh my god, it's the hardest thing, but honestly... It's worth it. Yes, when you're on stage, like, it's like, oh my god, like, all the 12 weeks or 16 weeks, however many weeks you're prepared for, it's like, it, it's all going to be showcased there. It's, to me, I, I love this sport. I fell in love with it, and I, I plan on continuing. And it's great that you're representing Star County in these kind of projects. So I don't think a lot of people from Star County... Yeah, I know. Or the real Grand Valley in general. Yeah. So, so, great for you. so uh, where, do you look, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Honestly, in the next five years, I think I'm hoping I get my RN degree and mm -hmm. I want to expand my family because yeah. I have one son. So I see myself as a nurse and I still consider, like, I'm still going to continue like, competing. Do you want to go pro? 
I want to, but I feel like once I become pro, it's not going to be the same. Like the same drive that I have right mm -hmm. now to want to become a pro, I don't think I'll have it then. I see. But because after you go pro, then you got to like qualify for yeah, pro like Olympia. The, the Olympia. And so that's another challenge. That's me. If you love it, I think you'll keep going. That's what I think. Yeah. So. Are you planning to compete? Yeah, I, I, I want to go pro eventually. And like compete in Olympia? I don't know if I'll get there, but I'm going to try. <laughs> In 10 years. In 10 years. No, it's not. I don't want to be 10 years. I do it fast. It's because it's hard. I want to do it fast, like get in and get out because it's it's so, it's so taxing on the body. Yeah. And it's so much work and I don't want to take five years to get to the MP. I want to do it right the first time. Yeah. Like just do it right, be disciplined the first time, knock it out and see how you do it. And, and the, the rest of your family, do they support you like your parents, siblings, cousins? My sisters and brothers do, my mom, she's kind of old-fashioned, so she was like, why are you showing your body, why are you just like showing your behind and all that, because my son goes, so my son like obviously tells my mom, oh, there was supposed to be kitties, and I don't know what, and I'm like, oh my god, it's so embarrassing, but yes, like, most of my family does support me, but I also have a lot of negative feedback. And how do you deal with that? They don't pay my bills, they don't. <laughs> That's how I see it. It's like, hey, you don't pay my bills, so I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do. Yeah. Good. Okay. How can our viewers uh, find you in social media? Uh, you on Facebook or Instagram? Oh, Joy Lolibares is my Facebook. My Instagram is Joy Lay 11. And Snapchat is Joy Lay 11. So, and you'll see it on the bottom of the screen. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Any closing message or remark for our viewers to wrap up? just keep going honestly like me i'm 27 and i feel like i'm too old to go keep going to school but honestly if you love it and if you want a, a career in something like don't stop no matter where you're at in life just keep going it's never too late to it's go never back too school. late i've seen people that are like in their 50s and yeah. still going to school that's right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Really me. appreciate you. We wish you the best of luck in your career. And thank good luck you. in April. I know. Thank you. Attention. Also, with your wedding, maybe Wonderful. we'll be there. You know, yeah. Yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> we'll interview you on stage. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I don't really want to do this. I'm oh, probably wrong. I'm going to run a ring right. <laughs> thank you so much. We appreciate thank you. you. And this was season four of Talk to Talk. Rio Grande Valley starts our last episode for season four. Alex Arabia and Medina. Until next time for season five. Stay tuned. Bye, guys. Ah, oh, there's nothing to eat. Why don't we just order pizza? Pizza sounds good. But I'm tired of the same old taste. I need something new. I got it. What? We ordered some Armando's Pizza. What's that? It's a pizza shop. They got authentic New York style pizza freshly made to order with a taste that's unmatched in the valley. That does sound different. But what about the price? I'm sure it must be expensive. They have daily lunch specials with prices that can't be beat. And with your student ID, you can get a 10% off discount onto your order. Did someone order Armando's? And they delivered!